Welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Rob, and today we will take a look at the different Save As options. This can be kind of confusing when you are working with an assembly or drawing and want to save some parts within the assembly or drawing with a different file name. This isn't as simple as Microsoft Word where you want to save the same document and just give it a different file name. This is because in an assembly or drawing, SolidWorks is referencing all of the parts, so it needs to know the parts' names and locations. Let's take a look at a simple example that illustrates when using each save method may be applicable. Let's open this very simple assembly I have created called Pin and Block. Once opened, we can see there are two parts, one named Block and one named Pin. Let's say that we want to make a change to the block in this assembly, but we don't want it to affect the existing part named Block. This is where Save As will be used. We will open the block part from the assembly like so. Then, let's throw another hole through the block part. Now we will use Save As for this block and let's name it Block Hole. After we confirm the save, we will close the block part, which has the additional hole to return to the assembly. SolidWorks is telling us that something changed in the assembly, so let's tell it yes, rebuild. In our assembly, we see that the additional hole is present and that the tree now indicates that block hole is the part being used in place of the original block. Great, now what about the block part? If we open the original block part, it has not been changed to include the additional hole. This method has allowed us to change a part in an assembly without affecting the original parts. Now, let's reopen the block and pin assembly and put the assembly back into its original configuration by going to File, Replace, and then selecting the block that we want to replace with the original block that doesn't have the additional hole. We can click the green check and we are right back to where we began. Now, let's look at how the Save as Copy and Continue option works. Again, let's open the block part and cut a similar hole through the part. Now we will click Save As. When the prompt appears, we will click Save As Copy and Continue. Let's call it Block Hole Copy for clarity. When we go to close the block part to return to the assembly, we are asked if we want to save block. This is because we've made a change to block and then saved it by a different name as a copy, but we have not saved block itself. We do not want to save block, so we click No. We will discard the changes. As we can see, the block is unchanged from its original state, and the part being referenced in the tree is now still block. Using the Save As Copy and Open does the exact same thing as Save As Copy and Continue, except the new part will be opened in conjunction with the original part. This is an important concept to master when making design changes and can cause a lot of headaches and confusion if you do not have a good grasp on what changes each option makes. Thanks again for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. See you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.